Pakatari to send us a vehicle. <laughs> Just spotted one with submachine guns. Got another tango. I got a third target. I've got eyes on Carlos. That dude? You can't be serious. My 12-year-old daughter could beat the shit out of him. Let's try not to spook him. We just need to hang back and let him lead us to his brother. Good to go. the word. Okay, here we go. That Hernando? Gotta be. These no-loads are the fucking Undertakers? The ones all the locals are so scared of? What now? We grab Hernando and get him to tell us where Reed's hiding. What about Carlos? Fuck him. He's just an obstacle now. Hernando's the one we want. Copy that.
got another tango. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Bro, carnal, you thought about what we discussed the other night? What? Those girls? I don't know, carnalito. That canijo. No mames, dale. It's just them and their mamita now. Way out in the middle of nowhere. It would be so easy. Neta? This ain't like a bar where you put some drops in their drink. What if one of them screams and wakes up mama? Then we fucking take care of her. Chingados, man. We're los pinches enterradores, bro. Try to fucking act like it. You sure they're twins? Neta, güey. Porque luego... Bad guys get hey, distracted. Leave Malone Must have heard the shot. The the lieutenant has escaped. Contact next to the fuel tank. Get to cover. I give up! you so long. Let's get back on mission. You sure they're twins? Uh, Neta, please, wey. I give Porque up! Luego tú. What is this? Me llevo. What is this? Who the fuck are you? Where's Reed? Who? I got no idea who that is. Don't bullshit me, Hernando. You either tell me where I can find Reed, or I make sure El Sueño knows all about your little human trafficking ring. I don't know where Reed is. Fucker never shows his face unless he's got a shipment to make, or there's some kind of emergency. I think this qualifies as an emergency, don't you? There's a special code. I enter it into a laptop at the airstrip. Reed gets the signal and comes to the airfield. That's it. Give me the code, then tell me where I can find this airfield. Bowman. We got the Guerrero brothers. They give you any trouble? What do you think? <laughs> so what'd you get? A code that'll summon Reed to an airfield not too far away. When he turns up, we'll be waiting. Outstanding. Go get him, Hotshot. Grenade, get to cover! up on the airstrip now. <laughs> Fucking hell! Fuck, engage! No, take cover! <laughs> man down, man down! I'm entering the codes now. Reed should be receiving the signal to land. He'll show up any second. Set up for the ambush. Fuck, they're coming right at us. Drone is airborne. 
Target incoming. Get ready. We good? Shit got close for a second there. We got a chopper coming in. We got a chopper. Hey, Notify Bowman. Bowman. Boston Reed is no longer on the plane board. Good. Trafficking angle. It's been a big problem here for a long while. Of course, someone in Santa Blanc is gonna bloody us all with it. I feel like an asshole. You stopped Boston Reed and freed a few innocent folks. It's a good day. Better than others, anyway. Bowman out. word from an informant that El Bakita is planning something big in Kiwani. What do we know? Nydia and El Bakita are desperate to get cash to Santa Blanca's investors in Mexico. They're putting together a convoy for a big shipment headed north. This is a Hail Mary. If they can't make this happen, El Sueño's not gonna be pleased. You got a location on this convoy? My informant didn't say. Get with him and find out what he knows. I'm sending you coordinates for a meet. Roger that. We're on it. Outstanding work in Kiwani. Eliminating Reed has disrupted the entire smuggling network. Grounding their planes has cut Santa Blanca's output in the province by two-thirds. What about the overland routes? The data you got from the truck depot is allowing us to map the entire operation from the beginning to end. Once we're sure we have everything, we'll notify law enforcement across the border and coordinate a series of raids. It'll be a disaster for the cartel. The locals, too. Santa Blanca employed a hell of a lot of people to operate those trucks. That's above my pay grade. You want to put people to work? Try to be your course. Yeah, never mind. No mad out. Hit a civilian. The informant. Let's hear what he's got to say. Bowman says you've got something for me. It's gonna cost double this time. Take it up with her. Tell me what you got, and I'll put in a good word for you. Okay, it's like this. El Boquita's jammed up, and he's got to get a shitload of money up to the bosses in Mexico, so he's running a big convoy up there tonight. How big? A couple of armored trucks for the cash, maybe half a dozen armored cars, maybe even a couple of helicopters. Serious shit. Where's the convoy? I don't know. El Boquita's being cautious as fuck. Only he and the drivers know the route. That's not good enough. I need a location. How about this? I know where you can find El Boquita. He's here in Kiwani to make sure the convoy gets through. You follow him, he'll take you straight to the money. All right, let's find El Paquita. Not a gunshot till we have the money in sight.
I'll fly. up on the target area. Elbow Pizza's expecting trouble, so let's take this low and slow. Marking a captain. Target spotted. He makes five. Just spotted one with submachine guns. I got eyes in a weapons case. Hey, we got a narco nice. next to the container, see? Bowman, we've got eyes on El Boquita. We'll tail him to the money. Roger that. We've got a tap on his cell phone. If he makes a call, says anything about the money or the convoy's route, you'll be able to listen in. She used to love them, esa mamada. I mean, I thought she did, but this last Valentine's Day, I gave her some flowers and chocolates and balloons, you know, like I did last year. But she took a razor blade out of Diria, my... amor, I'm almost there. Listo. As long as they get their money, the investors will be happy. They won't care how the cash gets to them. Yeah, that doesn't mean this isn't crazy. There must be a better way. There is no other way. We don't have time for any other way. You know you're the only man who can pull this off. I, I know you're just buttering me up, but I like it. Igual, te amo. Let me speak con mi niña. Papi, are you coming home? Pronto, chaparita. We have to take a trip. You be good girl and listen to your mama. Can I have a puppy? I, I want a small, brown, cute one, or maybe yellow. Nah, nah. You can have anything you want when I get home. Papa loves you very much. Okay, bye. Adios, mija. I'll send her back to you smiling. Santa Blanca. Sigue el Bolivia Chor Blog y suscríbete a nuestras redes sociales. Bowman, we found the convoy. I count at least three heavy vehicles, one helo. We need to keep those money trucks from reaching Mexico. Just as important, we need to take out El Boquita. Killing him will destroy Sueño and Nidia's relationship. Roger that. I call the rebels for some indirect fire. Helicopter, get down. Fire from the 
for effect out. Escort vehicle is destroyed. We got the helo. Escort car is destroyed. HVT is down. Say again, El Boquita is dead. Bowman, this is Nomad. We've taken out the money truck and El Boquita is KIA. Outstanding. The beauty queen is royally fucked. We'll see if she makes a run for it or tries to beg Swinger's forgiveness. Either way, she's gonna expose herself. And when she does, we go get her. Nomad, I've just got word. Thanks to us, the Beauty Queen smuggling operation is such a clusterfuck that she's a dead girl walking. Sueño sent a hit team to kill Nydia and her daughter Valeria. You got a location on the Beauty Queen? She's holed up at her hacienda with her daughter. We got this chick right where we want her. Get her and Valeria out of danger. She'll give us everything she knows. We're on our way. Nomad out. Decided he's better off without her. Extract Flores and her daughter before the Sicarios get to them. Car's got an alarm. I see a second target. I got a third. I got another. That's five. There's another one. That's ten. Ten sighted. Swingo's people are hitting the Hacienda now. Let's move. Oh. 
Helicopter incoming. I call Pakatari for some reinforcements. Nydia and the daughter. We need them both alive. Damn, look at that. Barvetro's plot to mine. I guess Santa Blanca owns this too now. They've got their hands in every Bolivian industry. The billion dollar question is, who's buying from them? Oil from drug cartels and terror groups, minerals, they all get into the market somehow. Escondete, Valeria! Don't come any closer! Cuidenla! Valeria! Get on that helicopter! Mama! No! You wanna kill me, pendejo? I'm right here. None of you assholes is gonna lay a hand on my daughter. We don't wanna hurt you or your daughter. We want sueño. You help us, we can protect you. Call it day. Like I'm gonna trust you. You don't really have a choice. Think you'll survive in the wild on your own? You know sueño better than anyone. He won't stop till your head is lying at his feet. We are your only chance. I'm not giving up if this is all a mistake. You people are gonna fuck me over the first chance you get. I suspect it's up to you. You're the cabrones who turned El Sueño against me in the first place. Our life was good before you came along. Your life was a permanent fast forward and you know it. We didn't make Sueño send people to kill you. We saved you and your daughter. Right. After you destroyed all of it. My life's work, everything I had. Well, not everything. The Jefe is a very big hombre, like uh, a monster truck. I heard he's very tall. You don't like El Jefe. I, I don't like him either. Mija, stop talking. Close your mouth. You don't like El Jefe because he tried to hurt you and your mama? No, I don't like him because he has no hair. Now, there's nothing wrong with not having hair. Maybe he can't help it. Stop talking to her. Coming up on the RP. Oh, Carreña. Whatever happens, just remember that mama loves you. Okay, mama. ¿Qué tal? Gracias, amigos. That money we took from the cartel is a play. I'm not going to talk. Good. I don't want you to. I want you to listen. I want to tell you a story. Long ago, there was a very beautiful princess named Nydia. And one day, Princess Nydia met a very powerful king named El Sueño. Nydia loved El Sueño. He was like the father she never had. And all Nydia ever wanted was to make him proud of her. Nydia was so afraid of letting down Sueño that she even sacrificed the love of her life the father of her child. All so that Sueño would love her. But it wasn't enough. It was never enough. You know nothing. I know one thing. I know that once I sign this, you will be extradited to the United States and you will never, ever see that little girl again. She will go into the foster care system, and in five years, she won't even remember who you are. You and I have both been there, Nydia. We both know what it's like. We both know the fucked up shit that goes on in those families. Do you really want Valeria to go through what you did? Who's it gonna be? Valeria or Sueño? I want an S visa. Witness relocation for both of us. And I want full immunity. Trato. Sweetheart, you get me sueño? I will give you eternal life. 